Hello guys, so once again, for today's video, I will be discussing the fingerprint classification system, which is specifically the Henry classification that was modified by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Moving on with our Henry classification system, let us now proceed with the subsecondary classification or division. The subsecondary classification involves the index, the middle, and the ring finger from both hands. Our finger or the uh, black 2, finger black 2, black 3, and black 4 will be for our numerator. And the uh, finger, finger black 7, 8, and 9 will be our denominator. So once again, our subsecondary classification is placed on the right side of the secondary classification. So for the arch pattern, whether that is a plain arch or a tented arch, we are going to simply put a dash. Now, if it is a whirl pattern, we are going to simply copy the ridge tracing which is placed on the upper right portion of each fingerprint blocks. So, of course, the uh, I stands for the inner whirl, M for the meeting whirl, and O for the outer whirl. However, if it is a loop pattern, we are going to use the ridge counting using this table. So for the index finger we have here, if the ridge count is 1 to 9, our subsecondary classification will be I, which stands for inner. And then for 10 and up ridge counting, we are going to use letter O for outer. If in the middle finger, we are going to use this table. So 1 to 10 reach count for the middle finger, we are going to simply put letter I for inner. And for the 11 ridges and up, we are going to use letter O, standing for outer. And last is... Under the ring finger, we are going to use this table. So, for the uh, ring finger, if it contains a ridge count of 1 to 13, we are going to put letter I as subsecondary classification. And for 14 ridge count and up, we are going to use letter O, which stands for outer. So, for example, we have here, first is of course the index, so this is tented, so we will put simply a dash, and then next is our middle finger, so we have here a reach count of 2, so we are going to use this particular table, since this is 2, we are going to place here letter I, since... Uh, it is under the 1 to 10 reach count. And then next is we have here the uh, ring finger. So we have here a world pattern. We will just simply copy the reach tracing which is placed on the upper right corner of our fingerprint block. And then of course our uh, denominator. So we have here our left index. So this is again a world pattern. We will just simply copy the ridge tracing. So based on this table. So we have there letter O. Next is we have here the left middle finger. Since this is an arch, we are going to use again a dash. And of course, we have here the last, the left ring finger or the black 9 
So since this is under the ring finger, we are going to use this table. So this is only three ridge counts, so we are going to use this. So our sub-secondary in this block is letter I. So our so our sub-secondary classification is dash I M over O dash I. Again, take note that the numerator should be aligned with one another. And in this particular division or classification, the dash here should not be removed. It should remain. Unlike in the secondary classification. Moving on with another example. So again, we will start again with the block 2. So this is a word, we will just copy the reach tracing. And then, block 3, we have their inner. So we will just copy, simply copy, since it is already given. And then our block 4, or our ring finger from the right hand. So we have here attended, so we are going to put simply a dash. And then in our denominator, again, this is tented. So this is tented. We are going to simply put a dash. Next is we have there the middle left finger. So we have here left middle finger. A ridge trace. We will just copy the ridge tracing since it is a whirl pattern. And next here is we have here a loop pattern and we have here a reach count of 13 so since this is located on the ring finger we are going to use again this table so 1 to 13 is inner so we have here 13 so this is inner so this is now our sub-secondary classification So we are now going to place the sub-secondary classification in our classification line. So we are going to place on the right side of the secondary division or classification. So we have here our sub-secondary. So O I dash over D dash M I. Again, take note, the numerator and the denominator should be aligned with one another. So that's it. Thank you again guys for watching this video. So if you think that this video helped you a lot, click the like button. Share this video if the information is worth sharing. If you have questions, takeaways, and comments, do not hesitate to comment below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you again for watching. Hoping guys that you will watch all the video series on the following topics. Thank you once again.